At least 150 people have been killed since May in ethnic violence in Manipur, a remote state in northeast India with a history of tensions between tribal groups. Why did the latest violence start? The dispute stems from animosity between Manipur's Métis majority and the Kuki Zo, one of several tribal groups in the state that make up about 16% of its population. The Métis are predominantly Hindu and largely live in capital Imphal and the prosperous valley around it, while the mainly Christian Kuki Zo usually live in scattered settlements in the state's hills. Long-standing tensions between the two communities have revolved around competition for land and public jobs. Things came to a head in May over plans to recognize the Métis as a scheduled tribe, ST, a status already conferred upon the Kuki. The ST status would grant Maitais a form of affirmative action through guaranteed quotas of government jobs and college admissions. Kuki Zo groups staged protests over fears the plans could reduce their entitlements, with rallies quickly spiraling into violence. Protesters set fire to vehicles and buildings, and Métis mobs armed with guns and petrol cans then attacked Kuki Zo settlements in the hills. Mobs looted police stations when the clashes began, with 3,000 weapons and 600,000 rounds of ammunition going missing. Clashes have killed at least 150 people, though many in Manipur believe the number could be higher. Some 60,000 people have been forced to flee their homes, taking shelter in relief centers or nearby states. Reprisal attacks have seen the firebombing of homes and places of worship. More than 220 churches and 17 Hindu temples had been destroyed by the end of July. 